The next stage in restoring my 2000 Kia 4x4 project was to fix the windows. Um, when I purchased the car, uh, the driver's side and the passenger side windows were locked down and the previous owner couldn't figure out why, what was going on with them. So one of the things we had to do is pull the door panels off and check out and see exactly what was going on. See if it was an electrical issue or if it was a mechanical issue. And what we discovered was, is when we pulled off the driver's side panel, we realized that one of the cables for the mechanism for pulling the window up and down had actually snapped off. So I had an order a whole new mechanism, as you can see here, and make sure it matched up with the, the one that was coming out. And then once we had that all done, we had to get the glass out of the way. And I came up with kind of an interesting little trick to pull the glass up and out of the way so I could get into the door panel and insert the, the new mechanics is you see here this bracket. You can get these uh, joining brackets at any hardware store. They're mainly used for joining wood together, but what you can do is you can actually bend these up in such a way that it grabs onto the bottom of the glass. And then all you have to do is like hook a bungee cord to one of the ends of it and then swing it over the top of the door down to the door handle and it'll actually hold the door or the glass out of the way for you so you can work without having to worry about that thing coming down on your hand because it, I had it happen a couple times and it's not very comfortable. So once that's out of the way you can get into the door panel, unscrew the old mechanism after unplugging it and then pull it out of the door. It actually comes out fairly easily. Make sure the new mechanism matches up holes to holes because sometimes the parts companies will send you the wrong ones so it's always good to match them up before you start pulling things apart but the one thing I did notice when I got it in was the wires connectors for them didn't match the nice thing is they were still the same type of wires so I knew it was two plug connection no matter what so what I did was simply splice off the wires and then reconnect them up made sure they worked properly before I put the mechanism back in the door because sometimes you'll actually get a new part and it won't work. I've had that happen with starters but uh, been fairly lucky with door controls. So once that worked I got the glass down back mounted in as you can see here and then once I got it back in there I actually was able to roll the window up and roll it back down just fine but then something nasty happened. All of a sudden nothing worked. All of a sudden none of the other windows would roll down, this window wouldn't roll down, and then it dawned on me that because the guy had had the windows rolled down for so long and had been sitting in his driveway for so long, it had actually rained and snowed inside the car and on top of the control panel. So as you can see here, I had to actually disassemble the control panel for the driver's side. You can see how messed up it looks here and then get some electrical contact cleaner and a wire brush and then you can take that wire brush and clean all your contacts and all your connecting pieces and actually I found it fairly easy to do you just have to be careful with older model cars because the plastic gets really brittle and things will start to snap and often you can buy a new control panel online but they can get pretty pricey so if you can clean up and use what you've got that's probably the best way to go if you want to save money but once it was cleaned up and back in, um, hooked it right back up to the car and the windows went up and down, all of the windows just fine, had no more problems. So this was the last phase for getting the windows working and I will update you on the next phase of my project in my next video.